Got another A-level chemistry exam question walkthrough for you. So this is number 11 in the titrations playlist. And as well as the actual titration calculation, there's also a couple of questions about the reactions of acids. And there's also a couple of questions regarding practical skills. The question's obviously suitable for all of the major exam boards. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So I've already answered part A. A strong acid is a proton donor. It's an acid that fully dissociates. Moving on to the reactions of acids in part B. So the first one, copper 2 oxide with dilute hydrochloric acid. So we're going to get copper 2 chloride and water for that one. So I'll just write that up. So that looks like that, and ammonium carbonate with dilute nitric acid. So we're going to get ammonium nitrate, water, and carbon dioxide, which looks like that. Moving on to part C, so I've already answered the first bit. The type of flask the student needs to use to make up that solution of MOH is a volumetric flask. You could say graduated flask there if you wanted to. Moving on to the titration results, so the three titrators have already worked out there. Just be careful with that middle one. That zero must be there. So I always say to my students that any titration reading or titrate needs to be written up as something point something zero or something point something five. And in terms of the main titrate, you can see I've starred the first one and the last one. They are concordant. They are within 0 0.1 cmq of each other. So you would take the main of those two, which is obviously 20.30. So moving on to the actual titration calculation, I've done my usual thing and just sketched up the procedure. So they've taken 2.62 grams of this metal M. Remember it's in group one and they've put it in water. You see in red there, I've written up the reaction equation for that. That's really important when we get to the last part of the calculation. So obviously in this beaker now, we've got the MOH, which has gone into the 250 cm cubed volumetric flask. And then they've taken 25 cm cubed out and titrated it with this 0.165 moles per centimeter cubed sulfuric acid, which we've just worked out the mean type before, 20.30 cm cubed. And there's just a reminder of the titration equation. So the first thing we're going to do is work out the moles of sulfuric acid in that mean titra. So that's just concentration times volume in decimeters cubed, 3.35 times 10 to the minus 3. Next thing we're going to do is establish the moles of MOH in the 25 cm cubed portion used in the titration. So obviously we just apply that mole ratio and we're going to double the moles of sulfuric acid, which comes out at 6.70 times 10 to the minus 3. Next thing we need to do is scale up to how many moles of MOH must have been in the 250 cm cubed volumetric flask. So that's obviously just going to be 10 times this number here. So now we've got the moles of MOH in here. It's going to be the same as the moles of MOH in this original beaker here because they just got poured into there. But then we've got to think about where did those, um, where did the MOH come from? It came from this reaction here, and you can see there's a one-to-one -one mole ratio there. So these moles in 250 are also the moles of M in the 2.62 grams. And then the last thing we need to do is work out the MR of M. So that's mass over moles, 39.1. It's in group one, and so therefore the metal is potassium. So K or potassium would be fine there. So I hope that was helpful. I've done hundreds of these exam question walkthroughs now on lots and lots of topics for A-level chemistry. There's just some of them on the screen, all in separate playlists. So please check those out. And if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel so you know exactly when I've made a new video. Okay then, cheers, bye.